Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to create a bookings product in WooCommerce using a free plugin. So we are going to install a free plugin and we are going to create a free bookings product. So this is a sample product that I have created using this free plugin. And this is a simple example of bookings product. Here you will see the title and the description of the product. And here customer will be able to select the date and time for the booking. And according to their booking hours, they will be charged here. They can increase the number of people. You can also add additional services along with this main product and you can add the basic cost and the additional cost if required. So if I multiply the people, the pricing will also get multiplied automatically. If I add these additional services here, you will see the pricing will also get adjusted according to the additional services. So this is one of the free plugin. Definitely there are some limitations to the free plugin and they do have a pro version. You can also check the pro version. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the WooCommerce bookings plugin. So this is the video that I published before. And in this video, I have created some bookings product using the WooCommerce bookings plugin. This was the plugin, the WooCommerce bookings plugin. And the pricing of this plugin is $249. There are many different features which are not available in this free plugin. So you can compare these two videos and see which plugin is useful for your bookings product. There are some different features offered in both the plugins. Now this is the pro version of the plugin that we are going to install in this video and the pricing is $79. Here you will see the different features of this pro plugin. I'll give you the link of this plugin in the description box. I'll also give you the link of this video and this plugin in the description box so you can watch both the videos and then decide which one is good for your bookings product. Here in this video, we are going to install the free version of this plugin and we are going to create the bookings product using this free plugin. And if your bookings products do not require pro version, then you can use the free version of this bookings plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this dummy website, we are using a WooCommerce plugin. We are going to install a free bookings plugin for WooCommerce. So in this video, I'm going to create one simple bookings product using this free plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Now here search for bookings for WooCommerce. Now here you will see different plugins. We are going to use this one bookings for WooCommerce schedule appointment, manage bookings, show availability, calendar listings. Uh, this is developed by WP Swings. So I'm going to click on install now. Click on activate. And we have installed this free plugin. Now here you will see WP Swings. You can go to bookings for WooCommerce or from here you can go to settings. We are on the general settings. Both the options should be enabled enable plugin and enable bookings and click on save settings. Now go to next tab configuration settings. Now display included service and display totals both should be enabled. I'm going to make it enabled. Click on save settings. Display included service that means you are creating a bookings product and in that single product you may have different services that you offer for that particular product. So you can add services to the product and it will display the total price of their booking. Go to availability settings. Here you can set the timing for your booking or for your store. So I'm going to select, let's say 10 a.m. in the morning and till 8 p.m. that is 20. Click save settings. Now this is about additional cost. So in if any product has different costs that you want to offer. Now here in this example, I'm going to create a salon, a spa bookings product. And there will be a, an additional cost of wardrobe. This is just an example. So we are going to create an additional cost for that service for that bookings product. 
here type in the slug and so we are offering this additional cost to wardrobe for massage therapy and cost will be let's say 100 rupees if you have more people you can multiply by the number of people so if you have two people for the booking then it will cost 200 click on add new booking cost so this will be an additional cost now let's go to additional service we are creating a structure for the booking first now let's say we are offering massage therapy for this bookings product and we want to add some additional services such as let's say manicure so you can add the service this is just a slug for the url so if someone is booking the massage therapy you can add the service as an additional service service cost will be let's say 300 rupees multiply by number of people multiply we are not offering any duration here if it is an optional yes it will be an optional it's not compulsory it should be an optional service now let's click on add new booking service so this is an additional service now let's create one more that will be pedicure and additional cost will be 300 rupees same thing multiply by number of people and optional click on add new service okay so we have got two additional services now we are going to create a bookings product so let's go to products and create add new let's name the product and let's add some content for this product so you can add the description here now let's add some short description and here i'm going to add the product image category will be bookings now let's see we have added additional cost so i'm going to add additional cost for this service that will be the wardrobe so you can add these additional costs to different bookings products so it's not necessary that this additional cost will be applied to all the products additional service yes we can add this so we are adding two different services as an additional service click on add okay so we have got additional cost and additional services here now let's go to product data and here change it to booking product so this will be a bookings product now here quantity customer can choose the quantity so we are letting people to choose the quantity maximum booking per user let's make it one now booking confirmation so when they book they will need to get confirmation from the admin from you now cancellation allowed so if you want them to cancel the service or the purchase you can allow them to cancel the product so i'm not going to check it now here booking unit please select booking unit to consider while booking so you can now select using the days and the time hours so i'm going to check this enable to show time with date on calendar okay now let's go to cost and booking unit cost so it will be let's say the massage therapy will cost 500 rupees per person okay now booking cost per people yes it will be per person enabling this would determine your booking cost multiplied by the number of people so if there are two people then it will get multiplied by two so it will cost thousand rupees okay if you want to add base cost you can add the base cost i'm going to leave it as it is now people enable people option number of people one and maximum they can have two in one booking now services we have already added services you need to check this box so that these services will be added to this product availability we have already set up the availability now let's click on publish and let's see how does this look so this is the product so here you will see the name of the product price of this therapy this is the short description and from here they can choose the date so i'm going to let's say nine that will be tomorrow and i'm going to select the time 10 and from 9 to let's say 10 to let's say 12 11. so it, this is not an hourly product so it's not going to multiply that with the r 
now here you can add medicure and pedicure manicure and pedicure and it will get added here and here people you can add two or one okay for one people it's not showing the pricing correctly it's not getting the basic cost so these two are service cost this one is additional cost of wardrobe and general cost it's not showing it here so let me go ahead and check so it shows it should be hours okay so one hour updated so this will be an hourly product let's refresh it okay, now let's select it again nine the time will be let's say 12 to one so it will be one hour and here you can see that one hour general cost is 500 rupees additional cost is 100 rupees and these two services are included for 600 rupees so total cost will be 1200 if i remove these two services the cost will be 500 plus 100 that will be 600 so this is how they can book the service now let me show you how does this actual work okay so here i'm logged in as a customer and i want to book this product so i'm going to select the date let's say tomorrow it will be 8 12 9 1 so it will be one hour service and one people only the price will be 600 i'm going to add this extra service and it will be 900 so i'm going to book it now okay so here is the cart i'm going to proceed to check out now here it shows the details the therapy the additional service the time is also here okay i'm going to cash on delivery place order okay it says that the product the purchase has been done now let's go to my account and go to orders now here you will see the order that we just placed and it shows the status is on hold so that means the admin will have to approve this order manually so let's go to the dashboard and go to orders and here you will see that we have received booking order so let's click on it now here you will see the details of the order who has placed the order and the time 900 and if you go here you will see all the details now we can go to bookings for WooCommerce and we can go to the calendar now if I go to bookings calendar I can see the bookings for that day so here i can see the booking is at this time and this is the date when the booking is so here you can see all the bookings in bookings calendar so this is a simple product that i have created using this free bookings plugin for woocommerce this is the plugin 79 dollars and 99 cents if required you can buy the pro plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.